This simple apparatus we call the cutting board freezing griddle. This would be the freezing griddle here. And this is the elevated freezing block. What this allows us to do is essentially freeze this minute specimen into a much larger block of embedding medium. So I will place the tissue again with the face down right on the griddle. And then very quickly I will cover and surround the tissue with a quantity of mounting medium, embedding medium. And then I will place over the elevated freezing block. That small specimen will be frozen in a little less than a minute probably. After about 40-50 seconds you can test to see if this is frozen by very very gently just trying to move it. If it feels very solid uh, it's ready to come off. Now to me this is feeling solid so in order to remove it I'll just give a minor pull or turn. And there you can see that tiny lips of skin with its ink surface down is now frozen into a block of emetting medium about the size of a quarter. I can pull that off with my fingers or a simple little spatula tool to pull it off with. Pulling it off is not a difficulty. Now we can take this small piece of tissue and cut it in any orientation we'd like. First, what we have to do is just trim off a little bit of the excess embedding medium, square it off. If it flies, like you just saw there, that tells you it's a little bit cold, and we're going to do just a little something to warm it between our hands. Just hold it for a second like that, and that will warm it. Now, with such a thin piece of tissue, just make sure that that face with the tissue on it is frozen. So I'll put it back down there for a second. Now I can take this piece of tissue and just cut it like I would a larger specimen. And there's my central section, and as I cut each piece, I'm going to put it down to stay cold on the freezing griddle. When you're cutting these small, very flat pieces like this, it's good to push forward with the knife so that you're not going to dislodge the tissue from the embedding medium. And again, that's another reason why we want to make sure that's nice and cold. And we go to this one. Notice I go forward with it. And now those go back to the griddle. So here are these five pieces. Now just be very careful in carrying this back to the machine that you don't drop any pieces. Once we're back to the cryostat, we use these enalocoded forceps, which comes with this apparatus, to move the pieces of tissue. If we were to use warm steel forceps, it would uh, stick to the tissue and give us a very hard time. But these, I can handle the tissue and move it about rather nicely. So these I keep down low in my cryostat. So first I'll put all the pieces that were cut into the cryostat. And then I'm very careful to orient them exactly the way I would want. This obviously is the up face for this one, so this one's going to go down. And this one will want to go down. This one is down. And this one is down. Okay, so we have the central section, the two corners, and the other two corners. Leave space in between them so the mounting medium, so a couple of millimeter space is, is plenty, uh, so the embedding medium can get in between the cracks when we fill it. Now these pieces are all face down again and we fill with embedding medium and put on a chuck. And that process is done. And we've now taken this minute skin ellipse and cut it to perfection using this simple technique, which really only took about an extra minute or two, but it is certainly worth it. And in about 35 seconds using these wells, that piece is ready to come out. And here you can see the five pieces perfectly oriented. You can see the eighth aspects, the central section, the corners. Now any of these defects, as I mentioned before, we can fix with a process I call plastering. And that block face is now perfectly filled in and all those pieces will cut just perfectly.